Capricorn, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome to the channel. Please click subscribe, help the channel grow, ring the bell so you know when all the content gets uploaded and if I go live. Capricorn, let's jump right into your reading. This is for the week ahead. Remember, in the next seven days, whenever you see this video, it's the right time for you to see this video, but it's in the next seven days out from when you're seeing this video. This is the energies for this week, Capricorn, surrounding you, sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Capricorn influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies. Apply them gently. Don't try to stuff them in where they don't belong. <laughs> if they don't fit, then don't make, don't, don't force it. Um, we're going to get your Oracle card reading, full spread of Oracle card here. And then they're in the link in the description box below. There's a link to an extended video where there's a full tarot card reading to articulate this reading. And then also a romantic reading as well for the next week. Um, look out for the uh, weekend romance as well. That's coming up tomorrow. FYI guys. Crowning your energy this week, embrace the in-between. What a beautiful energy for you because it's acknowledging the reality of your situation. You aren't exactly where you want to be, but you aren't where you used to be and you're not turning back. But there is a sense of how do I, I don't, there's a sense of being uncomfortable in the in-between of feeling not completely and totally in control of feeling not, no, you're not sure. You're not sure uh, where the future is going to take you, but at the same time, you just have to learn how to deal with it. You have to learn how to embrace it. And that's what you're doing. And you're doing it with pride and you're doing it with courage and you're doing it with integrity. Um, you're learning how to balance out resources that may be a little slim. In other words, flamingo is a beautiful energy. It's a Libran energy because it's all about balance and it's all about beauty. Um, and and uh, flamingos, flamingos balance on one leg. They stand on one leg to conserve energy and they, flip, they, you know, they switch back and forth to conserve energy because they're always standing, right? But they do it with so much flair and they have these beautiful feathers. But that's really all you're paying attention to. You're not seeing how, it's almost like flamingos have their own sort of economic sleight of hand. You don't, you, they have so much flair with their color and their feathers and their unique patterning and the way that they stick together that you don't see that they're actually very, very conservative in how they conserve their energy. And that's exactly what you're embracing. That's, this is the crowning energy. This is crowning your reading this week. It's conserve your energy. Embrace this sort of mucky in between area and do it with flair as only you can. You can take anything, Capricorn. I know you can. You can grab the resources. You can find the bounty in any situation. And that is exactly what you're doing. I know that there's been heartbreak. I know that there's been disappointment. But this energy crowning your reading is you're going to take what you're given, even if you're given a pile of dunky, and you're going to turn it into fertilizer. How do I make this pile of doo-doo into a fertile future? Well, you can, and you're going to find the way. If there's anybody that can do it, it's you. And you're going to do it with, like I said, flair and with grace so that people looking at you aren't even going to know anything's wrong. Now, I'm not telling you, you should hide what's happening. And there's something that I said about flamenco that I want to go back to. There's an energy of flamencos. Um, their colors are beautiful. Their patterns are beautiful. The way that they're shaped, their long, graceful neck is beautiful. But there's something else about them that's beautiful too that gives a very, a very, a pro, like a, like a, like a stunning impression. And that is that they all stick together. So one of their most glorious resources is themselves, is each other. And so this is like, uh, I would say the mentality of it's a wonderful life. Know Capricorn that you have resources that have nothing to do with money or material things. You have resources that is power in number, power in family, strength in your family, um, strength in your friends. This is where you're going to find the most support this week. I just talked to my best friend who's a Capricorn about this. These are like her words exactly. I honestly am stunned that this card came up because it's, it's this energy exactly. So that's your energy crowning. I may slip in a, I'm going to slip in a commercial here. I'll make sure if there's one, it'll come right here and I'll see you in about 30 seconds. All right, Capricorn, thank you for waiting through that. Uh, oh, thank you for waiting through that commercial. You'll be happy you did. Abundance is coming to you. This is busy. Keep yourself busy. Busy like a bee. Find some place to buzz. Find the buzz. Find the buzz. Find the opportunities. 
This is you need to be busy and focus this week on manifesting and creating your own life, your own world. Remember, this is the dripping in honey card. This is success. This is abundance. This is honey. Life is sweet. This is abundance that's coming in that you are going to do so well and be so economic and make it look so good that you're just going to welcome abundance. This is that Saturnian energy of rewarding your hard work and rewarding your tenacity through a tough time. And you're going to see abundance coming into you over the next seven days. You just are. It's going to come in. And the beautiful part about this is it's going to be abundance that you can accept. It's going to be sweetness that you can indulge in. Why? Because you know how hard you worked for it. Bees are constantly busy. The honey doesn't just get given to them. They have to earn it. So this is an energy of abundance that you earned coming into you this week, Capricorn. It's an energy of that's going to make you really, really happy. Happy. I don't think that you necessarily expected this. This is also a Leo energy card, so you're starting to feel better about yourself. The more you started to embrace this sort of ambiguous time in your life of not having a direction and not knowing where you're going, the more you start sort of owning your own self. And like I said, that's the seven, the energy of seven. God made heaven and earth, seven days, seven nights, right? It's seven is the number of creation, and that's what you're doing. There are seven days in a week. 777. Seven, seven. This is a lucky number and it is your lucky number and you're hitting the jackpot, but it's not a jackpot Capricorn. It's something that you've earned. In other words, it's something you're creating. Whatever you create in this week is going to take off. It is going to succeed. Push through whatever hardships you have this week and start building your business plan. I told my best friend this just sitting at the table across from her at lunch today. Build your business plan today. That's what this is saying. Whatever you set up this week is going to like, it's going to be crazy abundant. It's going to bring crazy abundance into your life. How do I know? Because two more cards just fell out. And what are those cards? Claim your independence. This is prioritize yourself. Get back to you. One plus three equals four. Four is a number of stability. Four corners. It's an earth energy. It's it's you. It's stability. It's knowing who you are. Look at. Claim your independence. Go into business for yourself. Do your own thing. You have lots of skills and lots of talents. And all of that organization and management skills that you've applied to running other people's businesses, now you have to apply to running your own. This is opening up your own business. This is being an independent contractor, a freelancer, a consultant, or just plain and simple, opening up that shop that you've always wanted. There is so much abundance in this enterprise, not only in money, but there is. That's material resources coming into you as well. But it's also in confidence, in self-esteem, and having the freedom to know that you did this and this is your own creation and that you are your own boss and your own dictator. Don't go back to having somebody else tell you what to do or making other people's dreams come true. You find what makes, your, makes you purr. Listen, that heart is right on that cat's throat area. What makes you purr? What makes you your heart sing with joy? You find that, you set up a business plan around it, and you, you make that plan, write it down because Saturn is going to be watching and holy moly, is he going to, there's the, the money is going to roll into you. The abundance that you're going to get, whatever plans you lay in the next couple of weeks are the plans, basically the life you're going to live in for the next 38 years. So where do you want to be in the next 38 years? You need to decide that. Why? How do I know it's going to work out? Because this other card that happened to pop out, which is the star card, this is Aquarian energy. It's also wishes and dreams coming true and the truth coming out. If you've had questions that needed answers, you're going to figure them answers out. Um, the answers are going to come to you in one form or another. You're not even going to have to look for it. At the end of the day, you've got better stuff to think about. But ultimately, this is your dreams and your wishes coming true, your true heart space wishes. This is you being the star, you shining, you getting people's attention, um, you getting people's admiration and you shining. People are noticing you. People are taking notice of you. Um, and what you are putting your mind to is working. This is you honestly just taking off, shooting, aiming for the stars and reaching them. 
all the boxes that my little my little my little girl rips up she's just ripping up all these kind of boxes next to me so there's definitely more to your reading capricorn don't worry but this is this is exceptional energy i think that you are going to really shine from the cards on this table lay your business plans and set your your structure and strategy now because honestly you're just gonna love what you do you're gonna love being your own boss you're going to love um working on your own set of projects you're gonna love your life once that becomes part of your life and this is also about remaining single um i know that i just did a romantic reading the romance reading that's on youtube oh it's like trust in divine detours but that's upside down and reversed so trust in divine detours stay stay you're not going to be moving and this isn't stagnation but remember this is balance this is steadying yourself everything around you is kind of chaotic right now you you need to steady yourself so this is no detours stay close to home stay where you know stay what stay near what you know not only in terms of geography but in terms of subject matter in terms of what you choose to open up as this business or this this new life of yours what do you know what are you good at stay next to what you know don't try to reinvent yourself just share yourself as yourself present yourself as an individual entity make what you already have take what you already have and turn it into something that you can make money out of or build a future out of hi 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 i think she thinks i'm yelling at her sometimes i'm really not but she's just so freaking adorable i love you this is you staying put getting your legs back underneath you don't take any sharp turns don't look far out into oh what weird thing should i know you already know what you're good at you know you, you click your heels dorothy click your heels you never left home okay you're closer than you would ever imagine and these two cards came out right side up think on your feet which you are you are you're finding the steadiness of your feet this is also sagittarius season Sagittarius season is you getting your feet back on, back underneath you. You stabilizing yourself. You stabilizing yourself in the midst of chaos. But it's also improv, right? It's like roll with what you got. What do, what do improvisationists do? Have you ever been to a live improv show? They're so much fun. What do they do? They work with what they have. They don't, they don't go looking for random things. They don't try to invent stuff. They work with what they have. They have in their imagination. They have maybe limited props. The people that are on stage with them, they work with what's being fed to them in that moment. So stay in this moment and improv. Improv. I know that it feels wrong to you. That's what this is. Hi, who is this? Ah, I love you. That's what this energy is. It's feeling, it feels weird. It feels unbalanced. It feels like, oh, this in between. Embrace it. That's what they're saying. They're saying embrace the shakiness because it's making you into a stronger, more balanced individual. The shakiness is learning, teaching you how to use only one leg when you have two. So just imagine how steady two will feel once you get them both back underneath you if you can learn how to make one leg feel completely steady. Like this is like pirouetting, baby. This is like doing 11 pirouettes, like in White Knights. You're pulling a White Knights, Mikhail Baryshnikov. You're learning how to do 11 pirouettes like it's nothing. Like God's holding you up there. Use what you have right now. It may seem like you have limited resources. It's all you need to start. And this little guy. Be patient with yourself. Don't pressure yourself. This is also a sense of embracing where you are right now. Turtle is very happy at home in the water. This is a Cancerian energy. It's a Cancerian energy, but it's the, a very balanced, high vibrational, people would say high vibrational. I like to say harmonious Cancerian energy. It's a mature Cancerian energy. This is a Cancerian energy that I don't use my shell to hide. I don't use my shell to hide. I use my shell. My shell is a part of me. See, sea turtles don't hide in their shell. They don't retreat. They use their shell as protection. It's that hard part of them that protects their vital organs. We all have rib cage, right? As humans, it's a part of them. The turtle knows that 
they they can be at home wherever they go. They carry their home with them. And that's where the North Node is, and you're where the South Node is. So you're being asked, you're being asked, aim toward that North Node. And what that North Node is telling you is you are where your home is. You carry your home wherever you go. So even if it feels wavy and crazy, you have everything you need right here with you. You don't have to look any further than your own image and your own self. You have everything you need. Start now. You've got lemons and you've got sugar and you've got water, then build a lemonade stand. Don't sit around and say, well, I need an industrialized machine and I need stuff to can and bottle it. No, you start with what you can do right now and you start right now and you get that business plan going. Embrace this time of change and this time of transition because honestly, you're gonna shine. You're gonna shine. When, if you embrace it, if you decide to embrace it, you're going to shine. There's going to be such abundance and prosperity that comes out of it. And the amount of pride that you will feel, you'll, you've never felt before in your life. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't try to get up the mountain all in one day. You have got to remember, I, I say this a lot, turtle energy. When turtle, tortoise, and the hare were running the race, tortoise focused on the race. Tortoise focused on getting over the finish line, enjoying himself while he was running. And what did Hare focus on? Tortoise. Hare was so involved with the competition and being better than somebody else and showing somebody else up. What happened? Tortoise won the race. Hare lost. You know, Hare was focused on all the superfluous bullshit of competing with other people's standards and other people's qualities. Don't do that. Just focus on your journey. Capricorn energy, sun, moon, rising, sun, moon, rising. This is finding your way through a murky period. As, as, as unbalanced as things feel right now, they're going to stabilize and they're going to stabilize because you're going to stabilize them. You're the, stab you're the, you're the secret ingredient here, Capricorn. Like you yourself and your energy being appropriate, uh, appropriately applied instead of backing down and being angry and upset and worried. This is you finding your strength and pushing forward into a new territory, not doing the same old thing. This is not doing the same old thing. This is doing what you know, but doing it on your own terms. Ooh. You could be traveling somewhere too, just, just, just to let you know. You could be traveling somewhere. More energy is coming out for you. More messages. Okay. So we have this. We have this. Um, yep. See the bigger picture. Look into the future. Look into the future. This is stable energy, right? This, is, this isn't my head's in the clouds. Well, it kind of is. My head in, is in the clouds, but my feet are also firmly planted on the ground. So this is a wonderful way to dream because you're dreaming from that state of reality. These are waking dreams, okay? My head is in the clouds, but my feet are also fam firmly planted. It's just I have so much reach with my foresight, okay? So this is you being able to not literally see the future, but see in the distance and see the potential and be objective so that you don't have to be scared or worried or feel like you're stuck in the muck. This is you rising above that and seeing above it so that you can strategize and put everything into its place that will make you feel comfortable. This is freedom. Freedom is yours. You're not going back to where you were before. I feel like there's still this energy about you that wants to go back or wants to stay where you are, but you're not going back. It's not your destiny. You have to move forward. I said this to Sagittarius too. There's only one way through and that's forward. You have got to just keep going. You're, and besides, there's part of you that's actually exhilarated by this. Three, three. Oh my God, Sagittarius, they got this too. They got three, three, two. This is divine intervention. This is angel numbers coming down and saying, yes, you have your freedom. You're meant to be free. You're not meant to be somebody else's. You're not, you're not. So this could indicate that you're breaking up with somebody this week. This could ind indicate that your divorce is finalized. You could be in a very happy, healthy relationship, but this is you leaving your job or getting laid off. 
this is a sense of, but it's freedom. It's not, it's, yes, it's scary for you. It's scary because you like the structure, but you have the structure inside yourself. You don't have to have somebody. This is the awakening that you're going to have, the epiphany you're going to have this week. You don't need somebody to give you the external structure. You have it inside you. In fact, you give other people the structure. So Capricorn, let it go and embrace what you feel is instability. It's not, it's freedom. You have all the stability you need inside of you. You are the stability. And then our grounding energy um, is nothing is wasted. I know there's a temptation to feel regret and sorrow that when things have ended, it's part of grief. Um, that, that what happened in the past wasn't worth it. And why did you do that? Everything that you've done has led you into being the person that you are today. Don't look on the past with regret. Look on the past as food. Food for your future. You are never alone. What I tell you? You're loved. You're surrounded by love and abundance of friends. People care about you. Flamingos have strength in numbers. They have strength in their family. You're going to be taken care of. You have all the resources that you need. And you are definitely, definitely loved. And if you have freedom, you have just received freedom from a love. This is sort of you making a decision to move on. And seeing that the past is not wasted and that the years that you spent dedicating toward this, a relationship perhaps, were not wasted. They weren't wasted because they set you up for the strength and agility that you need to move forward now. And it's with that, that realization that you'll have the strength to move on. Um, <clears throat> but generally speaking, it also means that you're surrounded by love and you're going to be protected and cared for. Um, reclaim your power, building up your sense of self-esteem, seeing through the dark, finding your way through the dark, finding that there is the light inside of you. Do you see these eyes? These eyes are the light in the picture. These eyes are their own suns. They get through. They offer light in the dark. The light's inside of you, Capricorn. You don't need anywhere else. To, you don't need anybody else. You don't need anybody else. But you have it. You have outside resources. Hi, Glizzies. Hi. You have outside resources. You do. But all you need is you. All you need is you. Um, I think this is also you seeing the light, seeing the truth, realizing that maybe you've avoided and been afraid of what is was meant to be from the very beginning. Like if, what you feared the most was actually something that was going to liberate you. 4-4, four, four. that's stability. And that's also infinity because 4 plus 4 equals 8 and 8 is the infinity sign. Turn on, um, It's just, it's destiny. Um, love is all around and sit, look at these two cards. These are amazing. These are your grounding energies. This is finding your own voice and finding your sense of self, finding who you are, right? And also having somebody else come in and harmonize with you. So somebody else singing your praises or delivering messages to you that kind of liberate you and set you free. Um, being connected to a voice or messaging that inspires you and makes you feel better, makes you feel stronger. You know, one of those, you know, like uh, something that psychs you up. Um, hearing something on the, on the television or hearing news that sort of makes your heart leap in your chest. Um, but getting your own sense of self back, your own song composing this is your own composition this is your this is your mr holland's opus this is your own opus that you're building now you're composing your own symphony right now and you're starting one note at a time i just love you yes my little goobers she's so cute she's so cute i just love her get yourself a dog capricorn i'm telling you they're the best things in the world anyway um this is somebody else though singing your praises and sort of responding to you. So there could be a potential for new love. There could be a potential for a new connection, a new opportunity, somebody offering you a new opportunity. When it comes to business, I really want you to focus on yourself. I want you to focus on the opportunities that you build yourself. This is client, somebody will hear you. Somebody will be interested. As soon as you, as soon as you put out your call, somebody will return it. You, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll be shocked, but as soon as you put out the call, somebody will return your call. You will start getting business or opportunities almost immediately, as soon as you put out the call. 
I'm gonna turn the camera around, hold on. And there you are, your full spread. The only card that's unbound, that's upside down here is trust and divine detours and that's because you're not going anywhere. You don't have to go anywhere or move around. It's inside you. This is you being the star, you being who saves your life, you being your own rescue team. And you putting in the hard work and efficiency that bees have, you're gonna be dripping in honey. Dripping in honey. This is putting out the call and getting a response almost immediately. Call and response immediately. If you need help, somebody will help you. If you put out your business plan, you'll get customers right away. This is, it's going to take off. You just have to lay the groundwork. That's all you have to do. You have everything that you need. There is no reason to be afraid. If you want to know what the future is going to hold, if you want to know where you're headed, we're going to go deeper into that over in the tarot card spread. Join me. And also we're going to do your love reading over there too. Same video. I'll see you over there, guys.